All right, guys, so I was asked to do a quick video on helping you all out on setting the inverter settings of our Jayco Terrain Integra launch. And uh, so first thing, if you don't have a copy of this manual, manual uh, I believe it's available on the Jayco website, but it's also available in the Jayco Terrain Integra launch uh, owners Facebook group in the file section. So definitely a good manual to get your hands on. And uh, specifically, I was asked to um, change the inverter setting that will allow you to connect your van to your home that might not be a uh, 30 amp outlet. So um, if you flip to this manual to page 11, it'll show you how to change the, uh, the shore power settings on the inverter. So you can bring it down into five amp increments. I think it's set up um, at 40 amps uh, from the factory, but you can bring it down to say 15 or 20 amps if you've got uh, just a 15 amp outlet that you're plugging into. So here are the written instructions for you. Again, this is on page 11. And uh, again, this is a very helpful manual. And also if you flip to page two of the manual, there's a QR code here that'll take you to an incredibly dull and boring YouTube video. It's about 40 minutes long, but it is chock full of really helpful information. It definitely helped me out a lot. So I really highly encourage you to take a look at that as well. And then I think the various inverter settings are back here. Looks like on page 20. Um, again, and we're gonna be going to inverter seven, or inverter setting 28, another common setting um, that was just covered in the technical service bulletin is the boost charge voltage inverter setting nine um, originally was set at 54 and uh, that tps bulletin had us bring it back uh, just a tad bit so so i'll walk you through with um just toggling through the um various inverter set settings so you can make those changes on your own so let's do that all right, so uh, before we go into the inverter settings and I open up the back doors, my van, just gotta show you this incredible view. I am out here with the family out in Steamboat Springs, Colorado on our annual family ski trip. And uh, we've had a couple of days of lots of snow and had some powder conditions. Bluebird day today, I am up and ready. Did some work this morning and I'm getting ready to hit the slopes here in just a minute, but let me get this video out for you guys. All right, so just need to remove this back panel in the back corner of your van to get to your inverter settings. All right, guys, so I'm not sure how well you can see this screen. It is super bright out here, but I'm gonna just try and plug through this. So um, got a couple of buttons on the side down here. And you're going to start with the set button. Hit the set button and then just go through the different menus. We're going to go up to 28. That's what we're looking for. All right, there we go. Hit the enter button. All right, so we're gonna go enter, hit that up button until we get to 28, which is where I'm at. And as you can see, I'm at 40 amps. Not sure why I'm there, but I'm gonna set it back down to 30. Hit the enter button, and then just go up or down to your setting. Hit enter again, set, and that should do it. Whoops. Go back down to 28 now on 30. All right, so pretty simple. Again, just toggle up and down through all the different settings. 
The other setting that is quite frequently used is nine, which is where you'll set your total voltage setting. I've uh, updated mine since that new uh, technical service bulletin came out, set it back down to 53.6. I haven't done much boondocking camping for an extended period of time, so I'm curious to see how long my battery's gonna last at this setting, but that's basically it. Um, hopefully this answers our questions. It's fairly simple. Again, the set key, scroll up and down, get to that setting level that you want, hit the enter key, up and down to the various different settings, and then uh, hit the enter key again and back out and you should be good to go. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment and hope you found this video helpful and informative. And hopefully we will see you out on the trail soon. It is winter time, so this is where we tend to go quite a bit. We live in Utah now, but we love getting out to different ski resorts. Can't see the mountain here from where we're at in this gorgeous neighborhood that we're airbnb -ing at. Beautiful out here. All right, guys. Hope to see you out on the trail sometime soon. Take care.